morning, everyone. Um, my name is Tejo. I'm here to glorify the goodness of God in my life. Um, I'm here to thank God that God has blessed me with a car. Put um, your hands together for Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, my sister, I just want to put context so that people can understand who you are, and what the God of Shekinah, the God of right here, right now, has done for you. People um, of God, she's very emotional. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about who she is. Our sister started coming to Shekinah when she was 16 years old, in 2010. She came to Shekinah. What so happened was that she had um, moved to Joburg, and she was walking to go and buy bread. As she was walking to go and buy bread, she just passed through our church, which was in Moy Street, and she just had this beautiful choir that was singing in there. And then she said to herself, you know what, let me just go in and see what is actually happening in there. She entered the doors of Shekinah Glorious Faith Ministry, and she loved what she saw in there. God spoke to her. And since that faithful day in 2010, She's been worshiping here in Shekinah Glorious Faith Ministry. She's one of our lead singers, and I know a lot of you, you know her, and she's been serving in the house of the Lord since that time. My sister, can you tell me, what then happened to you? What were you going through, you know, to be at this point that you are here testifying to the goodness of God? Um, I remember back then, I wasn't even going to church. I was just a fresher coming back from the rural, you know, so it happened that that time I was on my way going to buy bread and then I heard the choir singing. I believe that back then it was the Holy Spirit that, uh, Holy Spirit ministered to me. And then I heard the choir singing and I got touched and I was quite curious, wanting to know what, what is, what's happening. So I went inside the church and then since then, till today, I'm here. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. So since then, you've been in Shakana Glorious Faith Ministry. We have seen you blossom. We have seen you going to varsity here. We have seen you getting a job here. And we are seeing you standing in front of us again, um, my sister. So what then happened to you um, in the last three years? Something then started happening to you that is now making you stand in front of us and testifying to the goodness of God. Uh, people of God, uh, it happens that it's, it's been like uh, about three years I've been contemplating, wanting to buy a car, you know, praying, believing God that, you know what, one day I will do this. And then in, in the process, I think um, I was quite enjoying to be a passenger because people have been driving me around and around and using taxi fire as a form of transportation. So um, God did it for me. I was able to save. Um, I was praying as well, believing God that one day I'll be able to stand in front of you, not singing, but no, thanking God. Uh, yeah, so yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I thank God for what he did for me. Yeah, that's all. Okay, so, so my sister, just to take you back a little bit. So you said you were saving for three years. I've been saving all my life since the day I started coming to Shekinah. That was back in 2010 until now. I've been saving, I've been believing God. Oh, sorry. I've been saving and believing God and I've been worshipping, I've been faithful. Yeah. Okay, so you were saving money to buy this car. I've been saving money to buy and uh, this car. And trusting the God of right and here, trusting, right now. Definitely, I've been trusting God, God of here and God of right now. And by the grace of God, uh, I bought the car cash. I don't owe the bank. Uh, Put your hands together for Jesus. Listen, people of God. your screens. That is the car that God of Shekinah has blessed her with. Put your hands together for Jesus. Oh wow, we thank God. We thank God. So my sister, you were saving for this car, trusting the God of right here, right now, that he'll do it for you. So you just went to the dealership and um, you applied? Yes, I did. And then, by the grace of God, the, uh, the process didn't even take about, it, it took about a week. It didn't, it didn't even take long. Um, the paperwork and everything was just, everything was just accurate. And I thank God. I thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. 
so my sister, with what God has done for you, what would you want to tell those who are watching you on TV, those who are seated here in the auditorium, what would you want to give them as a word of advice? Uh, before I get there, um, first and foremost, I would like to thank my dad in the house, my mentor, my father. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> He hasn't been only a prophet or a bishop or apostle to me, but he's been a father, uh, a father figure to me. And I thank God for his life. That man, guys, if I have to, I'll, I'll write a book. I thank God for him. I thank God for his life. And I know that there's a more coming. I'll definitely come back and testify. I know there's a, surely there's a more coming. <laughs> uh, um, again, um, not really uh, advice, but just the words of uh, encouragement to the youth is that um, just a short story. I came here as a, as, a, as a youth at a very young age, 16. So my words of encouragement would be um, stay faithful to God, continue serving him. And I know you being faithful to God, surely there will be rewards. Hallelujah. And then advice for everyone and viewers at home is that continue praying, continue believing, continue trusting God. Uh, his timing is perfect. His timing is perfect. As he did it for me, he will surely do it for you. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. My sister, we're so happy for you. We're so excited for what God has been doing in your life. You know, and all these years that you've been serving faithfully, may God continue to increase in you. May you continue to be a blessing to their house in the name and in the blood of Jesus Christ.